it was right. You know, it's on the screen, right? I'm like it. Yeah, yeah, I know. That's one. also a thing. Yeah. But welcome back, everybody. It is us, the Retro T Bones, back here with another video. It is I, Little T Bone, and me, Big T Bone. Uh, back here with another video. Yep, I just did that again. Okay. This is the Mario Kart games tier list. Yep. And we're making a game based on, you know what it is. So yeah, let's just begin. Yes. Let's start off with, from chronological order. Yes. Super Mario Kart. Now, um, okay. Wait, 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 wait. Shoot, this is gonna be... I, I don't want to start off this, like, really, really disrespecting Super Mario Kart. Because, like, you know, it is important. It's the first game. But, like, compared to, like, every Future single... Mario game? Yeah, practically... If you compare it to, like, every single other Mario game, there's, like, no... I mean, Super... You know, every single other Mario Kart game, there's no reason to come back to this aside from nostalgia. Like, we'll get to Tor... And this is an unpopular opinion. I think I'd rather play Tor than play Super Mario Kart. But. Uh -huh. right. Yeah, that's really fucking messed up. Wow. But yeah, um. It's just like the controls and. Sh the controls are ass. The. The perspective, like, it's cool for the SNES, but like. The. the yeah. The freaking 3D, actual 3D makes things so much better. Yeah. There's just, it's so limited. The tracks are too flat. The tracks, why is there like so many Mario circuits? And variations. Like, yeah, why Why do we need like three Mario circuits? So like, I don't know. It's either D or F tier for me. The only saving grace that you, you don't have to play SNES tracks on Super Nintendo game where you can play retro tracks on future Mario games. So I don't know. Let's just put on I was thinking about like right between it. Yeah, if there was some way to put in between, I you know what, let's create one. Sure, sure. Super Mario Kart gets its own special tier. Today, <laughs> e tier, E tier. That's. And we're gonna just make it dark, very... just dark green, probably. Let's hope that it's not. Yeah. Yep. It it's works. Not the same. So like, yeah, that's just like. Come on. All right. Cause like I think Mario Kart Tour controls better than this game. I and like there's I, more content from Tour too. Like yeah, people will hate the fucking like fucking microtransactions. Yeah. And but at the end of the day, guess what? Guess at what? At least Mario Kart Tour has more unique drivers and courses. Yeah, like 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 shit, man. It's like, oh boy. Okay, but, uh, yeah. well, that that controversial shit out the way, we can move on to something less controversial. Mario Kart 64. Oh, that's like... Ah. This is definitely where the actual franchise is, like... Starting to woes up. Like, yeah, I feel like this is, like... Super Mario Kart is more of a prototype when you compare it to what Mario Kart 64 is. Yes. 64 definitely is, like, the base... For like every single other game after it and like it's still fun too to play b tier yeah i do have fun with mario Kart 64 yeah like i gotta i gotta respect it it's still fun like it actually it's cool and we actually have no variation of tracks oh yeah uh, which also. is great and like the battle mode's better too and yeah. like, yeah, shit, it's just, it's just better. Yeah. And like the, and like the fact that it's 3D, right? And you actually get like slopes and shit. Like you can, and like when you get launched off of those ramps, that yeah. shit's cool. That shit's cool. 
yeah, it is cool. Oh, and Rainbow Road's better too in this game. And the music is absolutely fantastic. Yeah, and the staff credits roll is banger. Is a banger. Yeah. Right there. Okay. All right, next game. That's Super Circuit, right? Super Circuit. The lesser Mario Kart 64. That's true. I feel like it's the love child, the unwanted love child between Mario Kart 64 and Super Mario Kart. Wow, but uh, let's but let's say that again the tracks are very unique yeah. and it doubles from limitations yet again from the game where advance yeah but it's definitely better than Super Mario Kart yeah. I I like how do I say this it's either bottom C or D tier for me like we'll see what happens let's give it like a d tier yeah yeah it's definitely better than fucking super, super mario kart fucking <laughs> ass game ass game indeed shit like actually shit okay and i would also put and also the reason why i put d then c is that the downside is you need to do like multiplayer on a different system oh yeah that's like the big problem where it's like it's really hard to get multiplayer. Forever. And heck, you need to get the accessories of the gamepad where you have to plug in. Yeah. But, but thanks to your emulation, now it's possible to play multiplayer. Yay, but sadly, no reason to go back. Yep. Alright. Um, Next game. We'll see. Oh yeah, double, double dash. dash. Oh boy, I have so much memories of Minecraft Double Dash. And nostalgia for it. Yeah. One thing I could say about Mario Double Dash is double the pressure, double the fun. <laughs> but yeah, seriously, this is actually double awesomeness about this game. I really like the dot two characters in one vehicle, which gives a unique feel of the racing. Plus, you get the idea of having a mo having like a person drives and focus on the wall while the other does slow shit. Yeah, and like on top of that, like if you have like two people right inside, like because there's one cart, you have the ability to like attack, like you know that ability yeah. where like you can just like knock yeah. other players. I think you play like It's the, like wire X that I remember using the R or L button, your triggers, that's what it is. Oh, yeah, yeah. And what's cool is that my car double dash has a LAN. Oh, yeah, eight players. Eight players, which is cool. However, if if you're just playing like all alone, if you only have four people you, you know of, eight players might not be possible. Plus, you need to set up a TV like hook up like two television and two game cubes so you can do like eight players yeah well to be fair there's not that many people that would do it so it's and like the feature doesn't yeah. really appear in any other Mario Kart game so either way the land thing is still like positive yeah. also also the courses are actually really cool I oh. think Wario's Wario Coliseum. Yes. It only took like two laps to finish it. Yeah, that but that shit is so fun. Like the drifts, like you know that part where it's like in the like Yes. Yes. You spin wide round, baby. Wide wide, wide like a wide Wait, 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 wait. Speaking about that, the eight lap baby Mario's stage, whatever it was baby called. Baby Park. Baby Park, yeah. That shit was so chaotic. And that's what makes this course chaotic. And then the boss. Wait, no, wrong, wrong thing. I'm thinking about. Remember the battle mode? And oh then yeah. The, the pipe. The pipe. Oh stage? yeah. That shit was amazing. I would say that the pipe course is probably the best battle mode course ever. Yes. Like because you're able to go inside the pipe, right? And like that's so interesting because it adds mm -hmm. ways of escaping. Yeah. And ways of entering and attacking. Or you can time it so that where the person lands from the pipe, you put a banana or mm -hmm. an object there. 
And plus, there's two new unlockable battle courses. There's Luigi's Mansion and Tilda College. Two of them are respectively came from Luigi's Mansion and... Of course, Mario Sunshine Secret Course. Yup. In which Little T-Bone hates it. Hates Secret Courses. That shit sucks. And All right. one more thing. The character special items. Oh yeah, ve those are very interesting. Yes. So, bias here, but you know, hey, this is our tier list, like S tier, basically. A top tier game, fantastic. Yeah, and then let's see. I think it was DS. Yeah. Marco DS. Another nostalgia game I had. While playing Mario Kart DS. Yeah. That's fair. I had. Uh, while playing Mario Kart DS, I did not be until later on when I get a little older, like, I don't know, like middle school years, and I got, got to play and be and complete the game. Yeah. And I'll say that Mario Kart DS is a step up of, well, Dollar Dash when it comes to, well, different vehicles are then the same vehicle all the freaking time. Oh, even though my car Dollar does have more vehicle selection, but still, let's pretend that my car DS has more of it. That's fair. Well, I would say that and the drifting is the same like in Double Dash, but the downside for the drifting is that you can snake in. Which yeah, is, spamming mini turbos over and over again. Which is annoying and unfair. Which is a big deal, man. It's a... Sucks. But yeah, anyways, the courses are really cool. Oh, Luigi shit, wait, wait, wait. We forgot to mention Double Dash's Rainbow Road. That, that, it's a good Rainbow Road. Before, well, before we get started with Mark Gardier's courses, my car double dash has a rainbow world. It looks cool. And the music's good too, but also very iconic. Even the credits as well. Oh yeah, yeah. Even every music we have heard in Double Dash is fun to listen. Yeah, like the older Mario Kart games, like until you get to seven, I think that like every single one of them is incredibly hard. Mm. Like like those those are hard hard to do, hard to beat, uh, and like yeah. if you do it at 150cc, 200cc, that type shit, that, that's yeah. hard. Yeah, true though. But yeah, anyways, Mario Kart DS courses. So, I have played like, every courses from the original Mario Kart DS, and the courses are actually really cool. The one of my the few courses that was my favorite is let's see here Luigi's Mansion, DK Pass, Wario Stadium, course Waluigi's by Waluigi Pinball. Pinball. I'll get to Waluigi Pinball. Why Waluigi Pinball is so iconic? And let's see here. I'm trying to remember what's it. Said. Oh yeah, TikTok Clock. A Mario 64 level in Mario Kart DS, which is nice. Yeah. But anyways, those are my favorite courses. Let's get to why Waluigi Pinball is the most iconic level. First of all, it's the music and the course itself. We all know that. Yeah, it's there's just so much going on with the game with this level. Yeah. And it becomes well known. Plus, Super Smash Bros. uses the Waluigi Pinball, but remixed. Nice. Which is cool. What else? Oh, yeah. Wasn't there like time trials or something? Oh, yeah. Time trials. Every Mario Kart game has time trials. That's true. And I think that. They have staff ghosts, but we're not focusing on staff ghosts anymore. Focus on like, let's see. I would talk about the characters, but we're not, since 
Well, characters and watch don't matter here. Here. Yeah. Right. What else am I saying? Oh yeah, the Wi-Fi. Let's be honest, the Marco DS Online was cool back in the day. Yeah, it was. And... And right now, you can play Marco DS Online by using this method on YouTube. How far I'm not doing this because it's outdated. That's pretty much the problem here. Due to the limitations of Marco DS Online, only few players get playable, not eight. Oh. Which is a shame though. But oh, yeah. You think of players? You can do. You can have an other option, which is probably the best option. Multiplayer local. If you have like a DS cartridge, like copies of that, you and can then, play. Yeah, you can play with your friends on separate devices without having to do the link, like the GBA. Yes. Which is a lot easier and definitely like a lot more possible, especially if you just use an R4 card. Or any other flash cards, depending on what you got. Yeah. Or maybe Twilight Menu, but yeah, we're not talking about those anymore. But yeah, and what's cool about the Marco Diaz is that you can do download play. Or however, there's some limitations. Which is just that you can't play the character. You like only you play as... Shy guy. Exactly. And which is fine though, since all they have to do is get a copy of Mark Cardias and you, they can have access to it. Yeah. Which is a fair play though. But yeah, anyways, there's one more mode only to talk about. The missions mode. The missions mode is one of the best things about Mario Kart DS. It shows the levels on trials on objectives like collecting how many coins you get, defeating enemies by how many you have to do by using your item, go through tires, do as many mini turbo boosts while drifting, and most importantly, defeat or race the bosses, which is cool. I know Little Tubo hasn't tried it out. Yeah. Which is fine since I play Mario Yeah, by means a lot, not a lot. <laughs> yeah, you did play DS a lot. Yeah, it's true though. I'm a Mario fanboy after all. <laughs> yeah. Better than you. <laughs> so I'm um, so because of that, I'm gonna go into how I played MK8 more than you did later. <laughs> right? Just to get to that, cause Cause you really said because yeah, that's that's really like difference in like I guess preference you can say. Different preference. Right? Yeah. Right. So DS we're putting that. I think that it's I'm putting it around the range of MK sixty four in my personal opinion. Uh what's about an A if we have Divin? Low, low A. I was thinking of like S but Ooh. since you were like saying B, yeah, A so tier. let's just put in A. Yeah. And which is fine, I can respect that. Yeah. And how you say, and now we get to Mario Kart Wii, and how you say something with over 100 million copies sold, and you're telling me that I haven't played it? With over <laughs> 100 million, <laughs> over 100 million, oh. you're really telling me that I haven't played that. That's really stupid. <laughs> Big T bun. Jeez. Uh, yeah, really think about that. Let yeah. that sink. Yeah, I just said hey, you have. Uh, have you this played it? Because you, played it? you haven't played it for a while. Yeah, but I still play it and I still remember it. that shit. One go for the Marco leave. After this, nah, I don't feel like it. But uh, yeah, Mario Kart Wii. Yeah, that shit. That was a good game. But like, if there's. Like, I remember when playing it again, like, a year or two ago. Mm -hmm. Like, like, now, now, like, my opinion has, like, changed compared to, like, how when I first played it and stuff. Which, mm -hmm. I feel that playing Mario Kart Wii out of, like, all the other games, like, 
Mario Kart Wii is like... There's a lot of luck into the game, like, you know... Like, you know, with the kinda items... Like, kinda like Double Dash. Yeah, Double double Dash is hella hard. Yeah. But, you know, it's, it's fun. Yeah. I don't know, I, didn't, I don't like Mario Kart Wii as much, but like... There were some cool features. The motion controls are cool with the whole steering, especially if you just put in the classic wheel lock. It's cool. Or you don't have to play with the Wii wheel, but you can play like other controls, like the GameCube controller, or etc. Yeah, but like uh, that that was cool. But like I don't know. I feel like there's just something off with Mario Kart Wii. Like. I guess yeah. like the with the because like the items like it's insane like just how much like string of bad luck you can get in this game when I compare it to others. Yeah. So yeah, just like it's cool and all. There's uh, definitely cool tracks, especially Coconut Mall. That's like the most played from what I remember. And then you can play as a me. And then there's motorcycles, but like, I'd rather go with carts because I'm yeah I'm that fuck, I'm that type of guy. I, I like carts better. Okay. I'm me. I'm an. Uh, I, I'd rather. I'm a do, cart fanatic. I'm a cart fanatic. Cart is better than bike. Yeah. Bikes. I don't care for bikes. Eh, bikes are dangerous. I'm too yeah. I'm too cool for bikes. But yeah. Uh. Yeah, that's Mario Kart for me. Yeah, yeah, I could totally see that. You want to talk about the aesthetics of Mario Kart Wii? Oh, ew. Like, I don't know, it, it looks worse than Double Dash. It looks like too plasticky in my opinion. Oh, too plasticky. Yeah, like, I remember like, oh yeah, the CGI cutscene that looked like at the start. The, yeah, I agree. Dude. Oh yeah, yeah, like it's literally on this. Yeah, that is the cover of it. That shit was so cool. That was so cool. And then later translated to the end game. Yeah, but like, yeah, I think the graphics just don't. They look literally like look the same as Double Dashes, but like more pr plasticky. It looks too shiny. Yeah, I could totally see that, but that don't bother me anyways. Which is yeah. fine though, if that's your opinion though. Yeah. So, what am I saying? Is there it, is it anything else to say? No. Okay, okay, that's fine. Mario Kart Wii. Again, one of my daughter games. I did... I played Mario Kart Wii when I was young, but I was always. And I did try Mario Kart Wii online. And there are times I have some wins or loses. I don't remember how... That many times I lost or win pretty much. But I wouldn't say that I probably suck at it. Plus I always use automatic. That's right. Mario Kart Wii has a two different versions. There's automatic and manual. Automatic means you don't need to grip. Manual is you have to drift means you get to drift with mini turbos. And yeah, that's about it. But yeah, anyways, the buses and the battle modes are pretty much the same here. And let's see, I think they added like... Oh yeah, the battle modes, modes are not as good as Double Dashes. I forgot. Yeah, yeah they... Go. And the, the difference here is that Mario Kart Wii actually had where you can go single player against every CPUs. Which is a new thing, however, Mario Kart DS did first, I forgot to mention. And also, Mario Kart DS also had Cross and Ample, which is cool, but I totally forgot that as well. LOL. <laughs> Where was I? Back to Wii. So, Mario Kart Wii did add a like, new character to stuff, mainly Funky Kong, and Funky Kong is like, the meta. Like, he's really the best character do ever. And that's why you get used all the freaking time in Mario Kart Wii. Pretty much. And one more thing before I move on. The online mode. What's cool about Mario Kart Wii Online is where you can... It's better than Mario Kart DS, 
online for sure. It has more players and just to play against. <laughs> Which is cool by the way. And yeah, that's about it. So let's let's see how we will rank it. I would say I would put in a A for my code Lee. What do you think? Sure, sure. Yeah, I'm okay with that. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah, I think yeah, I'll go with this it. one. Yeah, yeah, I'm okay. I'm good with that. And then, are we gonna jump into the GPs? Yeah, yeah, let's, before we get to Mario Kart 7, let's finish up the arcade ones. Mario Kart Arcade GP 1 and 2. I'm put, put it, cramming these two together because they're pretty much the same game. But yeah. one has much more to offer. Yep. So, so you want to start? Sure, um, GP. Yeah, normally they're played in the arcades, created by Namco. So basically, you get a few tracks, right? You play with, in a, using a steering wheel, have fun. There's some items. The items are slightly different from the ones that we normally get. Like, one, mainly they're just ones that just try to disturb your driving. Like, yeah, the items are weird in the GP games. Like, mm. they're not, like, really too... Like, like it's not like the standard mushrooms or bananas. Mm. Like, they're, they're basically just ones that, like... Sh there's, like, a shield one, I think? A shield <laughs> item. Bas yeah. Yeah, that like... That actually exists, yeah. Yeah, like, it's basically just, like... Like, more standard stuff. And it's like, oh, like, one item is, like gets someone to like they're driving like the wheel is weird and it's like harder to drive hopefully it yeah, has track variation yeah but like overall it's just a standard racing game that you'd find at the arcade um and also it is challenge mode which acts like Mario ps's mission mode like you push a watermelon go backwards Wait again, a new character from this game, Robo Mario. Yeah, well, Mario exists, and he, and he's another Mario Doppelganger character. Yeah. So that's basically it, I think. So as for GP2, <coughs> it has more. It has more in it, but nothing much change you, But it just adds more to it like Waluigi, and then this character from Tamagotchi. So I would place the GP games at C tier, yeah. Or like, yeah, at best they be B tier, but like C tier yeah. really is where they lie. Makes sense. I would put GP two on low B. Sure, go because for it. you have more in it. Yeah, because I feel like these arcade games, the big thing is just that, like, when you compare them to like the good console mm -hmm. titles or even <laughs> like. Mario Kart 7. Yeah. Like, there's no reason to just, like, be like, wow. Wow. Okay, GP is the best. I want this to be in the console. Nintendo, please put them into the Switch. Yeah, like, I I don't yeah. care about the GP games. There are other Mario Kart games that are worth playing. Yes. Okay. But now we're at now let's finish up with the arcade GB DX. All right, sure. So to me, DX let like this one's just like really simple. Imagine the GP games, slightly better graphics, way easier. That's it. See, uh, bottom C tier, cause like it's nothing much to say for it. There really isn't like if you t they just lower lessen the difficulty. Which like sort made the the original GP much more appealing. Yeah, much more appealing to me, at least. 
because like you know it was more fun and challenging but with the dx it's just like oh look guys i'm getting first place Whoa. so easily fun so yeah we'll finish off with okay let's move on to the next game my card seven yeah now this shit is hella good it's really good and i'm telling you i hate how people hated my card seven just because is it downgrade and it's lacking stuff? Yeah, so called downgrade that this shit was an upgrade. Yeah. It, like, basically, it's just like. It's like the template for what Mario Kart 8 would be, if I'm honest. Yeah. Uh, with the whole gliders, <gasps> introducing gliders. And going underwater. Yeah, like. That, that, that stuff, it originated from here, and like. They really, like. The formula was really good. They, like. The controls were nice. Yeah. It was it, just like, like, like they just got it right. Yes. They just got it right. They really got it right. Like the balance of the items to the right racing, like. And the custom nice cars. Oh yeah, that's also a big one. That was actually lit. That was fantastic. Yeah, like Mario Kart Wii, and I should have praised this when I got when I was on there. But Marco, we had good options with the carts and bikes. But like Mario Kart 7 took it up to another level, and like that's something worth commending. Hell yeah, mm -hmm. indeed. So I would place it. Def I would place it higher than DS, in my personal opinion. High A. Yeah, high A or low S. Like I'm, I'm like, Let's I'm like I really do like that game. Manage that after we sort out like my code eight, yeah, and the luck. Well, let's see. <clears throat> so yeah, I forgot to mention that my code seven has online, and online is also bet is better than DS by handle standards. Yeah, and yeah, and Retro Studios actually made my code seven, and I commend Retro Studios. For making Mario Kart 7 as great as possible. Yeah. Anyway, let's move on to Mario Kart 8. The Wii U. Yeah. Now I can say that you're a filthy casual for not playing it and as much as I did <sighs> with Smoke and T-Bone, who is like the third T-Bone that barely shows up. But I played yeah. it a lot with Smoke and T-Bone until we got Deluxe and like... Uh, yeah, we didn't really play much of Deluxe. I didn't really play much of Deluxe. But I played a hell of a lot of Mario Kart 8. Yep. Um, so, first thing to say is that new gravity thingy. Yes. But, like, the new gravity thingy, like, mm. I don't know. Like, it looked cool, but, like, <laughs> like the per like it, le it led to, like, new perspectives and shit. But, like, I don't know. It just wasn't as, like inch like yeah. because like the camera follows you right you don't see the fact that you're literally upside down in the track yeah but you know it's still cool um also the bikes we turn and you get an atv vehicle yeah that that stuff was cool and then there was mount wario that shit was awesome i really like that definitely one my favorite course yeah mount wario was like definitely up there I actually know literally every single Wario stage in Mario Kart 8 was my favorite. I'm not even gonna lie. My, every single Wario one. Even the DLC from the original. Yeah. Ma the Wario stages <coughs> are the best stages. Like, I, I agree. Like, not even gonna lie. Oh, wait, hold up. What's that one stage in Mario Kart Double Dash? The one where, like, there was, like, this. Like fire, like you, yeah. like there was like dirt path, then like you go up, and then there's like a ring of fire. Uh, that is Wario Stadium for Mario Kart DS on Mario Kart 8. Yeah, is that the one? No, is that, is it the exact same one just re, re, re That's re, a Mario Kart re. DS being, no, no, this is Double Dash. Double oh, Double Dash. Dash is the one that has no dirt, dirt and he has obstacles. Where it's huge. Wario yes. Stadium is 
pretty short and it has dirt in it so that one is different than Wario Coliseum yeah but yeah that shit that that Mario Kart 8 it was really nice and like the thing is that it's like it's it's very e like very easy to like if you use like the controls like use the controls like they nailed the controls and like yeah. Like, it, it's just, like, if you're good, if you're good at, like, kart driving, like, you'll be, like, you'll definitely do really good in this one. Along with, like, the, mm -hmm. the, um, what was it, items, like, that show was good. Like, Mario Kart 8 was just overall a really great game, really solid okay. Mario Kart game. Yeah, it is. But, of course, oh yeah, the jazz was hella good, too. Yes. Like literally, I see freaking like jazz, jazz um, bands playing Mario Kart 8 music all the time. Like the literal yes. Dolphin Shoal Mario Kart 8 yeah. lick from a saxophone. Mm -hmm. That people literally reference that part of the song from Mario Kart 8 all the time. Yeah. There's a that there's a reason why it's considered the best soundtrack, and it's. In, in this series, and it's for a good reason. Um, yeah. Rainbow Road is awesome from this version, too. Like, N64. The N64 version of Rainbow Road on Mario Kart 8 is really good. The thing that holds MK8 back is that... The music... What well, the I mean, the, I think the downside I hate about the original Rainbow Road is the music. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. Oh, the yeah, the original Rainbow Road. Okay. From yeah. eight. Yeah, from eight. Uh, yeah, Mario Kart eight's version of Rainbow Road, not the N sixty four remix they did, but just eight's actual Rainbow Road sucked. Yeah. A lot. Like it was just horrible and. Yeah. Yeah, but and um the the battle mode was horrible too. Because they did not use actual battle mode courses. What did they chose? They chose race tracks. Yeah, like. It could, like, it's not supposed to be that big. Like, the stages shouldn't be super huge when you're doing battle mode. Yeah. And it feels like you're in, like, a racing track, which it is, and... Oh, I was say this. You're in, like, a wasteland. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Because this course and every race track that's used in battle mode is a waste of development space we yeah, watch it it was all right so um let's see how we you can put it higher than a than a i mean the, yeah top of a tier i guess because like what i think what holds it back is the battle mode but yeah. just like such an integral part of mario kart honestly and yeah it is better than seven of course yeah <clears throat> Oh yeah, we never played um, Mario Kart Live, that home circuit. So let's put it in, let's put it where it's in a black area. Wait, hold on, let me... Yeah, yeah, yeah you need to add a row below before you do that, dude. Drat! And double drat, and triple drat, whatever. I'm gonna call it... Let me, let me try, fix this. Black... Lol. Aw oh, man, you can't see Just it. Just make it white. Yeah. Mile call live home circuit. Home circuit. Who? Alright. But yeah, anyways, let's move on. We're gonna talk about my card 8 Deluxe. For Along the with one. the DLC. That Along came with, the, with it. Yeah, so we're just gonna like save this for last. Mario Tour. Mario Tour sucks. It has microtransactions. I have never in I have tried think that Mario Tour looks fun when I try it out and yeah. And then yeah. later I got bored because every cop is basically you can't play all the tracks, you unlock shit, you play missions just like Mario Ds, which is kinda cool, but there are times I feels more like it's the same thing over and over and over again and 
The worst part is the unlockables. You cannot play like all the drivers and you always have to pay for it. In which I already talked about that. And yeah. And the controls, you tap with your finger and you drift. Doesn't sound bad, right? Well, it isn't. It isn't that bad. It's Although, playing with a vertical is weird. Too weird. I stopped playing Mark Couture because I got bored at it. And I it's not worth it. Anyways, you're next. Uh, let's see. Um, played it after Big T-Bone did. Thought it was fun. Then, um, got bored of it too. Deleted it. Went back to it because my cousin wanted to play. I played a little bit of it. And I thought, it's better than Super Mario Kart. But how can he, like, but the problem is that M MK Tour is 2020 something. I forgot what year it was. And Let me search it it's up. probably 2022, honestly. So Mario Kart Tour, how can it be better? Mm. Like, if, is it really a good thing that it's better than a game that came out in 1994? No, that's a, like, it's... Marco Toys released on 2019. Okay. So how so can can Mario Kart Tour really be proud of being slightly better than Super Mario Kart? And that's if you don't include the transactions. Like that's not worth being proud of. That is not. Yeah. Like, this is definitely one of Nintendo's biggest mistakes on Mario Kart. Yeah, it made the money, but like, you know, it it's just like don't care. Don't care. We're talking about quality, not yeah. money. Yeah, and the worst part is the characters. Yes, we're not supposed to be talking about the characters, but we're gonna talk about it anyways. How many Mars and how many peaches do we have to see in every driver and Put in a empty ass slots. Like yeah. Also, the the cars and and the gliders are nice. So yeah. But seriously, how many characters do you have to fit, including clone characters? But yeah, Marco Toy it sucks ass, and Marco Toy can fuck right off. Yes. F. Fuck this game. I don't know why someone added two Marco Deluxe, but I'm not gonna add duplicates in there. Yeah. So, yeah. We're saving the best for last. Marco 8 Deluxe. We said for Marco 8 of Wall on A2. And we'll and we talk about how the good thing is that we probably talk about. Yeah. The exclusive to 8 Deluxe. Yeah, so exclusive 8 Deluxe stuff. Yeah, I did check out the... I went and played the new... The new, you Boost know... The course pack? Yep. I knew, I played the new booster course pack as well, so I can talk about it. Basically, they just took a bunch of old, old school retro shit. And tour. And tour. Some of tour. I liked... What was it? There was like the New York one, right? Oh yeah, New York. Good old New York. Makes sense. Mario's from Brooklyn. Me I agreed. So, you know, that was a fine addition. I'm okay with that. But like, basically, they just took retro stages, popped them in, and they Mario Kart 8 ified them. Yep. And which is awesome because like, Mario Kart 8 has like, basically just like made the best versions of each like yeah stage so that deluxe doing the same thing like perfectly fine with that that's great um calamari was cool the new rainbow roads were cool too like yeah you know, it was basically just like it was just fan service the entire time yeah definitely fan service um battle mode better than eight yes not as good as double dash in my personal mm -hmm. opinion but like, hey, it's like they they got the the mm -hmm. what what needed to be done. They definitely fixed it. Mm -hmm. 
smaller smaller courses to battle on definitely yes. improvement I agree the new also there are new characters and very unique characters like Berlin Return of Funky Kong and why is PJ here but yeah you get the memo here also we have Kamek from a game that never existed until it was turned into Mario Kart 64 called Super Mario Kart R. But yeah, a lot of characters here. The only negative I have is pretty much the, in the battle mode. There's one mode that is so... that sucks, which is the Shine Thief. That mode <laughs> is terrible! You know, the, the, the big thing is that Shine Thief sucks. Yes. Because it's always sucked. I'll be honest, out of like most battle, mo a battle like when you get to choose, what do I want to do? Bob bombs, best one. Or, or like just regular green Balloon. shells with balloons. Or the worst one, Shine Thief. Shine Thief has always sucked to me. I don't know. I've never yeah. liked Shine Thief that much. Yeah. It's just like the worst one. Shine Thief is the most unbalanced battle mode I have ever played. Yeah. Heck, in Mario Kart 8, I have never seen a single person that stole a Shine Thief from the other, and they managed to beat the game without having their, their precious treasure gotten stolen from it. Yeah. You know that's bullshit. Like, in 8 Deluxe, Shine Thief does not fit with 8 Deluxe or like yeah it just does, does not or 8 right does not deserve to return yeah because like I think the way they designed 8 Deluxe they designed it so that there would be 12 people right yeah but like Shine Thief works best when there's like 4 or like yeah. which like they should have used like Luigi, remember Luigi's Mansion? Yes. Like that kind of level map if they were going to do Shine Thief. But they went big, especially with the Toad City. Yeah. So it's not that easy to do Shine Thief. Oh, one more thing. The other opponents who are trying to steal the Shine Thief hurt other opponents. And that is the worst part. You're making other opponents vulnerable and they cannot help each other to take, to get, to like, I don't know, prevent them from holding that shine. Yeah. And that's a bit for the shine thief. The new battle mode is, I don't know, it's all right. Yeah, like, it's not as good as Double Dash. It's like, but it's an improvement from 8. It's not saying much, but like, it's still an improvement. Right. Yeah. And I think that's about it. We go for Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. It they asked you. Yup, we created a gun. We literally, like, look, it's literally, we literally created a gun with our tier list. If I have to pick which one is better, I'll say 8 Deluxe. Sorry, Double Dash. Yeah. You're still our eight. love. You're still the best Mario Kart game in our hearts. Yeah, our Pookie Bear, our cook, the cookies to our cream, the salt to our vinegar, the. Uh, and the Mario to my Luigi and the salt and po popcorn <laughs> oh yeah 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 exactly or butter to my popcorn yes yeah that one's better oh uh, but like uh but yeah basically that's that's it really um look yeah that looks like a pretty pretty good to yep that seems about right seems about right so yep. yeah that's our tea list would you agree with our tea list if not, you guys suck! <laughs> yeah, L, L, really. So yeah, anyways, that's it for pretty much for this video. We probably pissed off a lot of people. I'm not even gonna lie. Yeah, even like, people who love, who play Mario Kart Wii just for the competitive part. Yeah. Like, and those who think that Mario Kart 7 sucked or something like, like that. Yeah, yeah, and like, there's, I, there's probably some people who still think that Super Mario Kart deserves be a better spot. And like, 
But yeah, come on. They're probably thinking to themselves, why are you putting it lower than the, G the GP games? But like, you know. Yeah. But like, yeah, whatever. At least the Geek Critique agrees that Super Mario Kart is not good. Yeah, he hates that shit. But like, he hates Double Dash, but like, you But! Know, I can do I will, I will get the... He makes other good videos, so I forgive him. Yeah, there are times that he makes good points on why this or that is good or bad. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Speaking about that, check out the Geek Critiques channel. He's, bro, like, literally, whatever he talks about, whatever he talks about, is like, he puts so much passion to, into it. Like, you can hear, like, wow, that is such a such a guy who cares about video games and what he writes and like man mm -hmm. like he puts so much emotion and passion like you can feel it through the voice and through the editing and through the through the script it's, yep it's really good shit yeah, yeah it's check, been check, real. check it guys it's been real and it's been fun for making this tier list oh yes yes but yeah and until next time, do the Mario. Mario.